All right, man. Whew. Burley Oak Week, a success. Fantastic. But as you can see, we're going to line them up. We're going to tell you our favorites. We never actually match up, mm. though, do we? Uh, well. No, yeah. we don't. Not with well, beer. Not with anything. Except cartoons when we were little. Our favorite well, cartoon we, was we, clearly Smurfs. <sighs> He may would have kicked the Smurfs. <laughs> That's good. All right, welcome back to 21090. I am Andy. This is Todd. Successful Burley Oak Week, I would say, and we're gonna do a little bonus feature today. What's our best? Today, What's our favorite? We're gonna line them up. We are going to tell you which one's our favorite. We're gonna start with the fifth and we're gonna go all the way up to number one. If you haven't joined us for any of the videos no. before, we'll blink we here. have been doing an entire week of new releases, limited releases. Their June can release we got a hold of. From Burley Oak, a very small but awesome brewery. Amazing. Berlin, Maryland on the eastern shore. So before we get started, Todd, tell us a little bit about each beer again right. so we can kind of set everyone up for what we're about to rank here. So the, the cool thing about this is we had three sour beers mm -hmm. and two IPAs. The three sour beers, two were from their Dream Series, which is a, a sour beer with their lactose. We had the Peach Cobbler and the Blue Dream Sickle. Awesome. Right? And then their Mexi Trip, which was a sort of margarita-inspired sour ale. Mm -hmm. And then there are two IPAs, very hazy. One was an oat milk uh, IPA called Steel Cut. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then their final one was their triple IPA called the Three Hour Tour. All amazingly different beers. Very different. And, but all very good beers. Um, yeah. I would say, regardless of what our rankings come up with, all five of them were winners. And yeah. if, if, you know, if by chance they were ever available through a trade or somehow you can well, get all of they, them? Well, the, if you can go there quickly, they may have still on draft mm -hmm. all of these, and they did, as of the middle of July, have these two still in cans. Yeah, so, so pick them up if you're in yeah. there. Um, and not just these, but all the beers they do, they're really, really good. So amazing. So, uh, you know, good on your burly, because no doubt about it. awesome stuff. But let's see if we finally match up on some things so that's the key thing. i'll let you i'll let you kick us off here buddy what is your number five of the five we did i don't know if this is gonna be a shock it it again as you said none of these are bad beers they're all really good beers but for me it's going to be the steel cut not because it's steeler but i just thought the overwhelming sort of dry hop of this um was a bit too much it wasn't balanced as good as the three hour tour of course um, and some of the other sours, I thought, just really blended the flavors better. So that, for me, is the fifth rank one. All right, so that's my number five. Andy, where are you? Okay, so... Number five. Surprise, surprise, I'm not going to go with the steel cut. We're going to match up. As much as I loved the Dream Series, my number five is actually going to be the um, Blueberry Dream Series. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, we did the three sours. Yep. They were fantastic. The collar was amazing. I thought the Mexi... Trip was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love that margarita. You're giving away too much, Andy. This was cool. I'm just saying what I liked because wait, there's only four left now. Yeah. But good beer. The sweet and sour were kind of extreme on both ends for me on this one. It's definitely um, sweet. So I, I think that's the reason. I, I expected to see a little bit more, I think, of that vanilla flavor popping through on this. Okay. And I didn't get it. But also a very good beer. So my number five is the Blueberry Dreamsicle. Mm, there you go. All right, for me, my number four out of the five is going to be the three-hour tour. Interesting. Um, I really like this beer, and it was a kind of a toss between this and the steel cut. I think the reason why is even though this was an overload of hops, I think I liked it. I just I think I love that kind of big hop presence. Not that this doesn't have it. But there was something just unique, special, and a little bit different about that steel cut that I just really liked and I really hadn't had in an IPA before. Um, this is a very solid triple IPA, but it didn't have quite enough to put it over the top for me against the steel cut. We agree. This is my number four as well. Mm. So this is my four. I'm actually going with the two IPAs as my five and four. All right. Now, I, for different reasons, I actually think this is a better than the steel cut. I don't think it's this sort of 
overpoweringly dry hopped and sort of just squeezing that hop in your in mm -hmm. your mouth. I think this is balanced for ten percent beer. It is beautiful. For that's crazy. Beer. I would and agree with that. The, I think the aroma on this is a bit more complex. It's got that tropical notes, um, and I of course love mosaic. So maybe that's where it's coming I from. Love Vic Secret. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but again, they're all amazing. This was my number four, the three hour tour. Okay. So, so let's hop right into number three. What do you All right, so now three? for me, I only have the, the, the sour beers left. Um, I'm going to go with the Blue Dream. And so it's, it was your number five, I think, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's for the same reasons, but I, I still, I, I, maybe I'm in a, in a sour kick right now. And I really love this Dream series. And it's sweet. There's no doubt about it. They don't hide that. They say it is up front. Mm. And that boysenberry. It's really and, good. And, you know, and, and sort of blueberry. God, I could just drink this all day long. It's so, so good. And but like it's I very said, sweet. I think the only thing that, that hit me with that was that they, mm. they said that it was kind of overloaded with both the lactose and vanilla. I'm finishing this. And I didn't get the vanilla. That was mm. the only thing that knocked it down notch in my book. Good stuff. Okay, so your number three. For you, what do you got? So for me, it's going to be the Steel Cut. Um, I thought this was a really cool, unique beer. I have not had an oat milk no, um, IPA point. before. I wasn't expecting this hop overload. Um, and I wasn't expecting to enjoy it. Sometimes people can overdo the good hops. Point. You can taste it, you're like, too much. I agree. And, and you have to back off. Even though this slaps you in the face with Does. the hot presence, Ooh. it's in a good way. I really, really like it. So that is why I, this guy landed as number three like in my it. book. Mm -hmm. So you've got now the two IPAs. We actually yep. are down the same two beers for our final two. We are. What's your number two? Oh, this was this tough. This is really hard. Oh, will me. we be the same? This is really hard for me. I already know you're number one. <laughs> I know. Do you, you really know what I, I want? I don't know if you do. I don't know if you do. I I don't know if you do. <sighs> so what's your number two? Every don't worry about me. Part of me wanted to pick the Mexi Trip as my number one. But it's my number two. Uh, so the reason is my number two is just because, as you'll find out soon, just I was just blown away by the first one we tried. Yep. But this really close second. The more I drank it, this was margarita inspired. Tell me, are we on the same page? With we're this? on the same page. Cheers. Cheers to that. So we can that both never describe happens. this. This does not happen. I think we're so we're we're two and one together. Oh, the smell on this. This is awesome. And the more you drink it, the more it God, the margarita this comes so through. Good. That is such an amazing beer. The way mm. that they describe it and then actually pull it off is just phenomenal. Absolutely love this. Start to finish, mm. fantastic sour. And again, I the raspberry shine on this yeah. one. Honestly, think the if you had comes through, put this up against the lime, any other line of beers, it would, this would have been number <laughs> you could, one. No, it's really good. However, its competition happened to be our unanimous there number it is. one. Uh, here, you take it. Yeah, I, I don't know what else I could say. If you I mean, didn't get a chance God. to watch the first episode, well, go back because we, we have it linked back, everywhere. Back, watch it all. It is, but. Probably the best sour beer I've ever had. Well, it's so different than anything I've ever had. This this is decadent. This is a dessert feel to it. And yep. it's almost impossible it's for me to think of a dessert sour. It's, uh, it, but they pulled it off. The notes of vanilla, so, said of so pie well. crust, of cinnamon, just vanilla. cinnamon and vanilla that come through here. All of it. It's a little thicker than your typical sour. The viscosity is high. I just, I mean, I, that's it right there. All around, this was a winner in my book. Oh. Now, the good thing is, Andy, I bought two, six, two four packs of this, so we have more of this to drink. Good. Do you get any of that? That's the question. I don't know. Has he earned it? Comment below. Has Andy earned another Peach Cobbler Dream? I don't know. If I don't if know. I have another his <laughs> garage, and when he's at work, I'll come over and I'll take a four That's pack. That's true. Anyway. That's true. But, awesome. I mean, this was this was really good. Probably, I think you're right, one of the best. It, if it, not, it's maybe the best. It's so different than any other sour that I've ever had. But Agreed. Agreed. But again, everything that we've had in this Burley Oak release from their June release series has been phenomenal. I agree. They're a special brewery. If you do get a chance and you're down yeah, near Ocean City, so Maryland, we're on the eastern shore. Yeah, if you're traveling in the Dumb Harbor Pen, you get, uh, and people were coming from all parts of the East Coast for these beers. So if you have a day to spend, mm -hmm. drive down to Berlin, Worthy. Maryland, get the camera lace, and then go to Ocean City and enjoy yeah. the beach. They've got a, a camera release just July. Even being there, hey, it's a it's a cool vibe. Like just yeah. the brewery itself. Oh yeah, the people there are awesome. Great outdoor very area, welcoming. They have a great stage, yeah. new stage. They have bands. Really nice. They have events. Check out their website. 
Really cool brewery. So it's definitely something. I love their Burley Oak Week. I uh, do too. We maybe we'll take oh. you to Burley Oak sometime soon. Uh, but but this has been a lot of fun. So if you like what you see from 21090, as always, please subscribe and click that little bell in the corner. I'm going to let you know every time we got a new video. Yep. Twitter, Instagram, and on Tapped, and we will put all these on there. And now that you know our order, you know you can tell us if you've had them. What do you think? What's yeah. what's your favorite? We'd love, or what you think you would like based yeah, on our just on our descriptions alone. What would be your favorite? Yeah. Um, but for us to have two that were actually the same, that doesn't happen very often. No, that does not happen. Although He Man is still. Better I think than it shows you how great. <laughs> Gargamel, come on, Azrael. <laughs> you remind me of Gargamel. <laughs> I remind you of Gargamel. Oh no! But here's the thing: it shows you how good these beers are. That that the, the fact that we agree, it shows you how how good these beers are. That's true. I agree with that. So until All right, next Gargis. time. All right. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Mm. <laughs>